My second overrated player comes from the sport I am addicted to playing, or at least attempting to play. It's called golf. Sometimes I call it goof because that's what I usually do when I try to play golf. But maybe never in the history of sports has a player been more overrated, certainly more overhyped, than Ricky Fowler. Never has a player in any sport had more national TV commercials while winning less than Ricky Fowler has. Now, he has won a player's championship. It's considered the fifth major, quote unquote. But it is not one of the four majors. Ricky has had lots of high majors finishes. He's got 12 top tens. That's very, very good. He was second in the 2018 Masters to Patrick Reed, but it never was really close, even though he shot a, finished just a shot behind. Never really that close. Never put that much pressure on Patrick Reed. The point is, Ricky Fowler has never won even one Masters, one U.S. Open, one British Open, even one PGA. Because Ricky Fowler is just not that guy. Way overhyped. Overrated. Now, he's a very nice guy. I think the kids love him because of the hair, the tattoos, the neon pastels, the shirts, the slacks that he wears, especially the, the orange for Oklahoma State where he played on Sundays. And maybe kids relate to him because he's smallish even for a golfer. He's, he's listed at 5'9", 150 pounds. He might go 160 now. He's fairly stoutly built. Can kids better identify with that sort of stature? Maybe. Yet in this age of 400-yard tee shots, Rory's 380, 390, even in the U.S. Open, Ricky's actually just too small to be dominant. Man, back in, I don't know what it was, maybe 2012, I was on vacation in Oklahoma City, and I was introduced to, I think it was Ricky's manager at the time out at Oak Tree National, and I actually got into an argument with this guy about Ricky not being big enough to ever be a superstar in golf, to win, the topic of conversation was to win five or six major championships. I said, no, sorry. And, and this guy said, no, you have no idea what you're talking about. And I think I did. Yet here's the punchline on Ricky Fowler, marketing lightning rod. He's not even funny. There's nothing particularly witty or entertaining about the interviews that he gives. There's no magnetic charisma. There's none of that. Yet he's routinely viewed as golf's most popular player. More likable than Tiger, who's obviously the ultimate polarizing lightning rod. But hey, for me, give me Tiger any Sunday over Ricky or Rory or Jordan Spieth or Justin Thomas, any of the live defectors. Yet Ricky endures at age 34 as golf's number one super salesman. Just by being the all-time Mr. Nice Guy with some fashion flair, certainly in the realm of golf. So he can shoot you, Ricky can. A majors record 62 in the first round of the U.S. Open as he did out here in Los Angeles at LACC a couple of weeks back. He can be the co-leader at the United States Open after three rounds going into Sunday, and he can quietly fold on Sunday with a 75, 56 players shot better on Sunday than Ricky Fowler did as co-leader at the United States Open. Did you hear any criticism of Ricky Fowler's final round? I did not. I heard only sympathy. Overrated, maybe all-time overrated. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.